Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well, it is Thursday, two days after the win of Juventus versus Salernitana, goals of Dybala and Morata, we have to speak about a lot of things today, but just to put a bit in context for the new people that are joining the channel, what are we doing in these videos? We are going through all the news of Juve on the front pages, inside the papers, the articles, whatever they are saying about our beloved Juventus and we try to make a recap, what's today on the agenda, we'll speak about controversy. Uh, about controversy about Mattia Sule because Juventus is doing great thing, bad thing, or he's doing nothing. There is always something bad to say about Juventus. This time, not even about anti Juve fans, but this time also accusations by Juve fans. We'll speak about Vlaovic because apparently there is another team as a contender for Juventus. And in January, maybe not only one new midfielder, but maybe two depending on who will leave Juventus. We'll speak about all these kind of things after the intro of Colo 99. We start immediately, guys, with the first front page, the Italian for, for front page, sorry, Corriere dello Sport. I hope, meanwhile, that you put a maximum of like and that you subscribe to the channel. La mucchiata. What does that mean, la mucchiata? Really beautiful word, difficult word in Italian that means piled up. Piled up, why? We see the picture of Lorenzo Insigne on his knees. Yesterday, they did 2-2 versus Sassuolo. They even were about to lose yesterday versus Sassuolo because at the 94th minute, there was VER that cancelled the win goal of Sassuolo at the moment the rankings are saying 36 for Napoli 35 for Milan 34 for Inter that is running towards their second consecutive Scudetto and then our direct opponents at 31 Atalanta because that's our target entering the top four they won 4-0 Roma yesterday lost 1-0 versus Bologna they didn't lose only 1-0 they even lose some men we'll speak about that in a few seconds Juventus 24 pay attention to Lazio 21 they can even catch up at 24 like Bologna, Juventus and Lazio. We speak about the second page, Gazzetta dello Sport, because they are saying Milan e Inter da urlo, screaming for them because they were genius, they were fantastic. Did they win versus Barcelona, Manchester City, Chelsea? No, no, no. no. Yesterday they won versus Genoa, they were won versus Spezia. Uh, Spezia, the team of the ex-player of Inter, Thiago Motta, that yesterday had that genius idea to put his best players on the bench. Is that reported somewhere in the net? No, no it's not reported it was my uh, my duty my duty to tell you about this kind of news they will also face a incomplete Roma Inter next week uh, because they have to win they have to win because Tammy Habrams yesterday he had a normal contrast not even with the intention of fouling the opponent uh, not even watching the opponent yesterday normal contrast I invite you to watch it on internet uh, yellow card suspended for next game on top of that Karsdorf the defender of Roma will also miss that game will Napoli finish winter champion we don't know because uh, on top of Angisha and Osimhen that are already injured they, yesterday they had a triple injury Fabian Ruiz midfielder defender Koulibaly and offensive midfielder or uh, attacker Lorenzo Insigne they will all miss the game Tutto Sport and now it's time to speak about Juventus they are speaking about Vlaovic Vlaovic pay attention because there is another contender and it is Arsenal we'll speak about that in a second but first I want to speak about Matthias Sule our young boy wonder kid 18 years old I have first of all to congratulate Matthias Sule for his first official appearance but apparently we had to ruin that moment of the kid the kid played yes 12 seconds is that a lot absolutely not could he play it more time yes did i want to for him to play more minutes to touch the ball to do some beautiful things on the field absolutely yes i am following the kid since two years since under 19 since under 23 where he's still belonging to I hope the best for the kid. The kid is good and he will have some playtime. But the controversy is that people are saying disgusting. Disgusting by Massimiliano Allegri that is not giving the chance to young people. He didn't want to let him play. He's actually fooling him and disrespecting him. Stop. Stop. Please stop because these kind of things, they annoy me a lot. I am angry when I read these kind of things because the kid is happy. He's living the dream after being called up with the Argentinian national team, after scoring a winning goal with the under 23 he was called up and he hoped he was praying maybe to play to enter to do his official debut with Juventus a big club like Juventus when you are 18 not everyone is able to do that he wrote it on uh, Instagram how happy he was the pride that he has and we we Juventini we are 
over uh, everywhere on social media we are writing that it's not okay it's not okay he had to play better but what would happen if he would have played five minutes more would that change your life absolutely not just enjoy the moment say congratulations to that kid he doesn't have the stress anymore of his official debut that is done massimiliano allegri did he disrespected the kid no he asked him to go up a bit earlier before the 90th minute then he was on the sideline at the 91st the ball never went out it is what it is uh, he could he have chosen for Caio Giorgio yes he could without any problem he has chosen for the kid it's a beautiful reward for a kid that couldn't wait so just please be be fun be nice be kind with other people celebrate the moment share some positivity instead of putting negative idea in his head that's what i wanted to say and now we speak about the other things like vlaovic because arsenal is on the player juventus really won the player not for january vlaovic really said and i repeated that he wants to finish the season with Fiore fiorentina to put them back in europe and then leaving will he go to a team like arsenal that will probably not play in europe i don't believe so i really don't believe so even if arsenal is already contacting fiorentina i don't believe so we have at the moment two other pl players offensive players Dybala Morata do you remember the last time that both of them scored in the same game of Serie A it was in 2015 they did it versus Salernitana it is time it is time that our strikers start to score we need them will it be the moment of change because four goals in Serie A for Dybala after 15 days it's not enough three goals for Morata they are not enough they will have to do better is it the moment yes or not let me know in the comment if it will be the turning point of the season for our offensive players Dybala will have to wait a bit more Juventus at the moment is busy with other administrative things uh, we know it we read the papers we know what they are saying at the moment he will have to wait a bit more for his contract extension and then we speak about the midfielders i told you hot topic at the moment the midfielders because we are not satisfied with all the players we have we have to probably change a few uh, we know that ramsey is not officially but he's out of the team he will probably leave in january but then another player that might leave in january is arthur the brazilian young player of 25 years that didn't convince at the moment at juventus injuries and way of playing mentality vision of uh, football is probably not the same as uh, pirlo was expecting or uh, allegri probably was more a sari player he could leave pay attention because we bought him for a lot of money so if he leaves it will be on um alone alone with maybe an obligation to buy let's see who is juventus interested in to replace them zakaria zakaria and that uh, also dortmund now another uh, uh german team is interested too they are trying to find him and they are trying to go for him zakaria is still the priority for juventus but not only him because there is also Cuadio Cone, the other french player that juventus is interested in will we have two new midfielders maybe with sell let's see we are in december january is approaching and then uh we have to also to take into consideration the words of arriva bene uh general director of juventus that said pay attention because we have to be sustainable we have to be sustainable in our mercato in everything that juventus is doing so don't expect crazy 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 transfer on january forget about pogba forget about all these kind of big players genoa is approaching we are playing on sunday who will be there probably mattia de Ciglio we'll see him back after his injury and maybe faster than expected also weston mckinney that was doing really great we finished with the last news guys new shirt uh, that was presented today by juventus a blue shirt inspired by 2006 team geist what does that mean in german team spirit uh, uh kids from adidas that were playing in the national teams in the world cup of 2006 they were inspired by that and now we have that fourth kit is it really a fourth kit that juventus will play at least one game with in uh in, uh, in Serie A or in champions league i don't know because if you go into the site you can't personalize it at the moment you can't put a number you can't put a name so i don't know uh also there is uh the jeep logo missing so i think it's more something to train with something to fulfill actually all the kits we have something like for collectors but i don't believe it will be something um that we will play with this is it for the news i hope you enjoyed i hope uh, that you commented also with your ideas what you think about everything that was said today thank you as always forza juve